Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 whole to the power 4 plus x plus 5 whole to the power 4 is equal to 32. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. This x plus 1 can be written as x plus 3 minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus uh, this uh, x plus 5 can be written as uh, x plus uh, 3 plus 2 whole to the power 4 is equal to 32. We suppose that this uh, x plus 3 is equal to m. Let x plus uh, 3 is equal to m. So, this equation will become, so this equation will become m minus 2 whole to the power 4 plus uh, m plus 2 whole to the power 4 is equal to 32. Now, this m minus 2 whole to the power 4 can be written as uh, m minus 2 whole squared and uh, whole to the power 2 plus this m plus 2 whole to the power 4 can be written as uh, m plus 2 whole squared whole to the power 2 is equal to 32. Now, by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This m minus 2 whole squared will become m squared plus 4 minus 4 times m whole to the power this power 2 will come here plus by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This m plus 2 whole squared will become m squared plus 4 plus 4 times m whole to the power this power 2 will come here is equal to 32. We suppose that let a is equal to m squared plus 4 and b is equal to 4 times m. So, this will become a minus b whole squared plus this will become a plus b whole squared is equal to 32. And this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab plus this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab is equal to 32. This positive 2ab will be cancelled out with this negative 2ab. And this a squared plus a squared will become 2a squared. And this b squared plus b squared will become plus 2b squared is equal to 32. And from the left hand side we can factor out 2. In back left a squared plus b squared is equal to 32. If we divide both sides by 2, this implies that uh, a squared plus uh, b squared is equal to 16. Now, in this equation, we replace this a with this uh, m squared plus 4 and we replace this b with this 4 times m. So, this will become m squared plus uh, 4 whole squared plus uh, 4 times m 
होल स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन नो दिस एम स्क्वेड प्लस फोर होल स्क्वेड विल बिकम एम टू द पावर फोर प्लस एट एम स्क्वेड प्लस सिक्सटीन प्लस दिस फोर एम होल स्क्वेड विल बिकम सिक्सटीन एम स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन एंड फ्रॉम हेयर वी सब्रैक्ट सिक्सटीन फ्रॉम बोथ साइड सो दिस गेट कैंसल्ड एंड दिस गेट कैंसल्ड we are left with m to the power 4 this 8m squared plus 16m squared will become plus 24m squared is equal to 0 from these two terms we can factor out m squared in bracket left m squared plus 24 is equal to 0 from here either this expression m squared is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 24 is equal to 0 from this equation if we take a square root of both sides this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of m is equal to 0 and from this equation we move this 24 to the right hand side then this will become m squared is equal to negative 24 and from here we take square root of both side so this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we are left with m is equal to plus minus root Negative twenty-four. Next, m is equal to plus minus. This root negative twenty-four can be written as root four times root negative one times root six. Next, m is equal to plus minus. Root four will become two. and this root negative 1 will become i times root 6 and first we found that m is equal to 0 m is equal to 0 now to find the values of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 3 is equal to m we have supposed that x plus 3 is equal to m so when m is equal to 0 then this will become x plus 3 is equal to 0 Move this three to the right hand side. This will become x is equal to negative three. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of this equation. Now, when m is equal to plus minus two i times root six, then this will become x plus three is equal to plus minus two i times root six. Move this three to the right hand side. This will become x is equal to negative three plus minus two i times root six. It means that x is equal to negative three plus two i times root six, and x is equal to negative three minus two i times root six. and first we found this value of x x is equal to negative 3 this is first value of x this is second and this is third so we have three solutions of this equation negative 3 and negative 3 plus 2i times root 6 and negative 3 minus 2i times root 